Network. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. It is always exciting to see the very best the NFL has to offer all in one place. And we have that here this afternoon as we welcome you to Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. Brett Maher is set to kick off. The best players the NFL has to offer on one stage. The AFC and FC Pro Bowl underway here in Vegas. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. At their own 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And he's going to have the hook up to Ross. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On third down, Burrow. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. That'll go as a 16-yard gain as they pick up the first. But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Here's a carry for Saquon Barkley and the Giants. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. Burrow on his toes that time as they get the first down. Gardner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll make it second down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. He's brought Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow gets this one to Hill. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks.
Throwing now. Burrow on first down. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. And that's Grady Jarrett who forced his way through to register the sack. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And he fires one that's intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And he will bring this across midfield to the 49-yard line. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid. The turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. But here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. So after the INT, here's Wentz. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Shotgun now for Wentz. That'll be caught right away. Inside the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Wentz now on first down. This ball complete to Rager. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 30-yard line. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Again, they'll throw in Murray. Buying time to his left. Throwing now, but it's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now Wentz again. Open man, it's Rager. He's got it. Down inside the 15, he goes. Defense was expecting run, and they're dealt a pass of over 15 yards. 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. first touchdown of the game and of course we'll probably see some offense in this one I don't know though that we'll see what we saw in 2013 when the NFC posted 62 points you talk about pyrotechnics that was crazy even for a pro ball 62 points I think you were out your voice in that one talking about all the touchdowns that were scored I would love to see 63 or more though I gotta tell you all about offense in this thing pro Bowl offense let's go Start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20 yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light there. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like you had green on that play. Oh, 
And he'll lose yardage and be down at the seven-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. He rifles one that's intercepted. Virginia Simmons picking it off. And he's going to bring this one back for an NFC touchdown. I have to believe that in a Pro Bowl situation, you know, we talk about these defensive backs during the season that they're educated gamblers. They take the education out of it. They just go for the football here. Hey, try and make a big play. And if you get one, you really look terrific in this game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken about seven yards deep. Decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. At their own 20 yard line. The offense for the AFC set to go now. And job one here, Charles. Just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doc. Hippocratic Oath, first do no harm, and right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. but thank you, Dr. Davis. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Incomplete. Isaiah Simmons there. To so after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And he's going to bring this one back for an NFC touchdown. Part of what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead has swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. 21-0, our score after one. Brett Maher is set to kick off. now to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The AFC offense set to take their next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points in. This one might be over by half. Again, what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Now they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Play action. It's Burrow. And it's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Now, what a first down pickup of eight. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this will be incomplete. 
The physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And attempted a deep ball there, and they didn't get it. But boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent size deficit, but not one that they can't manage. And now a pass dumped off to his running back. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. The AFC thus far on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Results. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. And in their own territory, needing only a few inches, they're going to line up to go for this thing on fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it, and that will force a turnover on downs. carry for their fullback and he is tackled inside the 40 not quite to the 35 give him 10 yards there and about by the nose of the football he's going to have a first down and again they'll go right back to their fullback and this time not quite to the 30 he'll be down at the 31 yard line it's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. And that's a nice game by him on first down, picking up some key yardage. From the 31, Wentz. It's a caught by the six. And he will score. Touchdown, NFC. Debo Samuel, 31 yards. And the NFC adds on to their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And this carries into the end zone. And nowhere to go. He only makes it to the five. Well, not exactly a banner return, so he doesn't give his offense a whole lot of room to work with. They've got to go a long way now to try and score some points. I do know this from experience. There will be a few comments muttered his way by the offense as they head out on the field. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he can get out of the backfield. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. Back to throw now in his own end zone. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll lead here to a third down. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. The AFC thus far on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and five. Intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. Yes, folks, that is his third interception, and I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because there is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around the defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment find the football, and he's done so quite well. 
Rager catches it left side. That one good for 14 yards. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Going for it all. And it's intercepted at the goal line. A great three and it's picked off. And he'll be shy of the 15 at the 14 yard line on the return. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. The screen pass here to Cullen. And he takes it all the way down to the 44-yard line. A huge play there on the screen pass. 43 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They had the huge play last time. Here it is a much smaller gain of two. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked out all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Jackson from the shotgun. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. And movement up front looks like a false start for the AFC. That's going to set him back five yards. Now let's see how the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. Now a shotgun snap as they look to throw. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. They're going to take it all the way out near the 30 yard line. And give him now four interceptions in this game. That's only the third time this has been done since the year 2000. I think that tells you how much better teams have gotten at throwing the football. If you go all the way back to 1960, 12 times before that, there have been guys who've gotten four interceptions or more in a game. I mean, most recently since 2000, Delta O'Neill. And D'Angelo Hall. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain on Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. At the 29-yard line. Caught left side, Hopkins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Escaping the pressure right. And incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. Into a double team and it's intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And he returns it in the enemy territory down the 45 yard line. And so, first thing that crossed my mind is why didn't they just sit on the lead and take it to the locker room? They're in good shape. Absolutely. And from this spot on the field, now you've given the other side a chance for points here going into intermission. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game, and it's something you did not need to do. Burrow looking to pass. He's going to let it go again. And he will score. Touchdown, AFC. A big play there as the first half is winding down. And the AFC able to cut into the lead. I'm not sure that they have illusions right now of, okay, we're going to score eight times in a row and we're going to be terrific. 
but to get one, that was huge for him. That has to feel much better right now. And you do have, we're still in the first half. You do have the entire second half. It's something about that goose egg that just looked bad on that board, but now they've broken it. Yeah, broken through. Can they maintain the pace? We'll see as we go along. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively or offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. One yard down. Brings up second and nine. So we have come upon halftime of this Pro Bowl with the NFC on top of the AFC. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. smart football you know that kind of a lead staying in bounds it burns clock even in a situation pressure and the AFC gets to him for the sack they need to stop to get back into this game and here's one right to start the third quarter yeah anytime you go to the lockers with that two three score deficit you're right you need that stop get the football back and they've done just that series to series play to play Throwing is Murray on third down. And that is incomplete. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. Unable to connect in that attempt. And here's Hoff Richter now, the punter, as he sends this one away. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Punt, give him three on the return, and the AFC will take over first and ten. The offense for the AFC set to go now. And Charles, they trail by three scores. Look, they're not completely out of this, but it's sort of go time right now. Yeah, and they knew that coming out after halftime, it was going to take a collective effort to get back into this ball game. The defense got the stop for them, so maybe that can get things started. Now the offense has to pick their game up as well, and if they can put a score on the board, hey, they could get back in it in a hurry. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block, it'd be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty. But it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? From the shotgun, it's Burrow. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. And now Bell going to be intercepted yet again. He's picked off just shy of midfield. And he's going to bring this one back for an NFC touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. And he knocks it through makes the score our home team 35 visitors seven Brett Maher is set to kick so they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six and now the kick is away taken about seven yards deep 
And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. The AFC offense set to take their next drive. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at that time, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, yeah. but right now, whatever we said hasn't been working. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. A handoff to Barkley on the option. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Davion Taylor charging hard from that linebacker spot, and he drops him for a loss of 11. And it's third down. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Going deep downfield for Ross. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Eddie Jackson picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't come before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays for what... It's running for Rager, but it's intercepted. It's Kyle Duggan who picks it, and this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. But they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and saying, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. And they're starting with the option. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Second down. of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. <laughs> Operating from the gun. Tucker. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Six yards is the pickup and that'll lead to a third down. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync. Stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. At the 9-yard line. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Now it's Burrow. And that is caught for an AFC touchdown. Saquon Barkley there to make the grab. And the AFC able to use the short field as they cash in for six points. Tucker lining up. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but oh, and now they're going to fake you. And so caught right on the six. And he'll get in. And they're going to draw the 
themselves two points closer. All right, Parker, one more time. Our whole lives, you put the ball on the three-yard line, kick the extra point. 2015, they put it on the 15 to kick the extra point. 2016, they said, we're leaving it there. So if you want to fake it, that's a long way to go. And they got it done. I was going to say, they had a 15-yard play in their back pocket. <laughs> you don't see that on too many play sheets, do you? No. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this run? Too early to fail to make the play in the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Now Murray, he bootlegs it. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. It's a gain of nine yards. And it'll be second and about a yard. It's the NFC with the lead and the football as we start the fourth. Now Murray off play action. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Trying to get the ball to his tight end in the center of the field where he runs a lot of his routes and ostensibly is extremely comfortable. He was hoping he'd find a seam and a big gainer to go along with it. But that one was incomplete. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now a handoff here to his running back. So he fought off the tackle and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. On first and ten, here's Murray. Flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. Murray, ball comes out, and that's picked up by the AFC. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. It's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. They'll run on first down. It's Hopkins. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. And Murray's going to keep this, and he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. No question, he's so dangerous down here near the goal line. The safeties, they have to be involved in run support against a quarterback like this. And in turn, they're going to ask their teammates to be involved as well. On second and goal, Murray. Now he's got it. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. That time the completion goes for four yards and we're set up with a third and goal. Working from the gun, Wentz. Under pressure, down he goes. Second at the 10. Kyle Duggar in there to get him for a loss of nine yards and that also leads to fourth down. Murray staying put for now. They'll go for it on fourth down. They're going for it. It's Murray. Eluding the pressure right. And it will be caught out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's really incomplete. 
quickly. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And as a result, possession switches hands. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And he'll be out right at the 35. A really nice gain of 25 yards. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. Escaping the pressure right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Again, it's Burrow. He'll drop this one down and mix it. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. They'll try and throw for it with Burrow. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Oh, he's going to look downfield for Barkley. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. The intended target, Saquon Barkley. And that'll bring up second down. To the air again, Burrow. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice, long, soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. On third down, Burrow. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. throw again. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. Spinning away. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Throwing again. It's Burrow. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with me. And that is caught for an AFC touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the AFC able to get a bit closer. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. This will be caught in about the six. Again, for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt, it's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double down dare them? Oh, maybe they, they saw something on the See something on film that goes to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hole, and someone kicking the ball through the post. Wins to throw. They'll fire it deep for Rager. And it's going to be caught. Touchdown NFC. Jalen Rager. 52 yards. And the NFC. 
and see able to widen their advantage. The extra point. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a touchdown. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. At their own 17-yard line. The offense for the AFC set to go now. And it's great to see the Stars all out in one place, but in terms of football, what's really great to see is a very entertaining Pro Bowl as we are tied in the fourth quarter. And how many of these guys thought going into this game after a pretty easy week heading into it that the pressure would ratchet up now and someone has to make a play? which means someone will have a play made against them and not have to live with that for the rest of the year. Now a man open down the middle of the field. He's got a first down past the 30. And finally brought down at the 34-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. And my goodness, another interception. Dante Jackson picks it. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. Open man is Samuel, complete. It's out, it's loose. And that's picked up by the NFC. And they will set up sharp at their own 41-yard line. Partner, I know hindsight's always 20-20, but man, just in general, those laterals, they can be so risky, and we see the risk that can be involved right there. And you just have to know, and, and we've seen it because we've been at a lot of practices, it's not something that's practiced very often. You know, in that situation, you're going to see guys really working on it. Maybe like we're bringing the rugby guys in to help us with tackling. Maybe we ask them to help us with the laterals as well and make that a better play. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Makes it third and two. A final shot now for Burrow. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. So it affects the final score, not the outcome, but it is a late touchdown here on the game's final play. Great play, but admittedly, the tackling in the Pro Bowl, Charles, not always the best. I would say that they're not quite as committed to getting a guy on the ground in the Pro Bowl as maybe during the regular season and, of course, in the playoffs. But still, heck of an individual effort there in that run. That makes the score our home team 42, visitors 29. So, Charles, a victory for the NFC. Final thoughts on this Pro Bowl? We had some fun, didn't we? Absolutely. A lot of excitement, some big plays to watch, a lot of those great matchups that we don't get to see during the regular season because sometimes teams don't play against each other. And, oh, by the way, no one got hurt. There's the win for everyone. I think the fans enjoyed this one. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. So long, everybody.